Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Psalms and Proverbs Bible, and I'll be using this beautiful kit or page from Ladies Loving God and also the Blackberry Shop. I thought they both went well together, and you know me, I like to marry products together or elements together to make a page. Thank you for watching, and remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Take care. Today I'll be in Psalm 34, looking at verse 4 and also verse 18. The whole chapter of Psalm 34 is awesome, but it reads, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Verse 18 reads, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. I decided to do this page because I was in a place this week and I was troubled by something not pertaining to me personally but by, for someone else whom I love very much and it was just tearing me apart and instead of giving in to my feelings I was real with my feelings and real with the Lord with how this affected me and what this person was going through and it also brought in this issue brought in an element of fear. And so in rather than give in to my fears, I decided to feed my faith. And I did some digital journaling that dealt with Charlene Warwick, which I share with you guys, to pray more and worry less. So I went immediately to that digital devotion and just began to read that and just kind of getting my mind and setting my affections on things above and not on things beneath. And God is just so awesome in how he ministers his word and how he he wants us to come to him with everything that we're feeling, everything that we're experiencing so that he can comfort us. I won't find comfort in anything else. It's his word that gives life and gives truth and light to dark situations. He's the only one that can penetrate darkness. And the only way that I could have gotten out of that dark headspace and mind frame and fear was to bring in the light of Christ, to bring in his word and I sought him and I cried out to him and I prayed to him and I praised him and in his providence and in his love he ministers his word and I decided to pull out the Blackberry shop kit I said oh yeah she has a kit about do not be afraid and then I remember my lady's loving God had an image of a young lady crying and I just wanted to bring that picture and that kit onto one page because it was what I was feeling but I also found bright spots and that's why you see the yellows I'm bringing out the bright spots because it began to overshadow the darkness and the the, the mind frame that I was in David was so spot on when he said I sought the Lord and he delivered me from my fear so obviously David was fearful of circumstances and his enemies and those who were persecuting him and that's where the Lord wants us to go to him when we are afraid he doesn't want us to live in fear and we know that right he didn't give us a spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind but because we are human and we still deal with these fleshly life issues he wants us to deal with it in the spirit because he has the antidote to our fear which is our faith which is his word which is the comfort of his spirit and matthew henry says that david seeking the lord for this it enables us to, or enables the Lord to silence our fears and still the tumult of our spirits. I love that. He silences our fears and stills the tumult of our spirits. He gives us that peace and that settledness about a situation that has not been resolved or you don't know how it's going to turn out. But because you sought him, because I trust him, and because you trust him, he is so pleased to deliver us from our fears. Circumstances that come into our lives, God in his providence and in his omniscience, he already knows what's happening. He, he's already been to it before we get there. There's no surprise to him. He's always there. He's never absent. He's always present. So he's always on time. He's not governed by our time. He is God and he works from an eternal purpose and an eternal plan. And I was just blessed to know that I can go to him and find comfort in the time of discomfort. And he says, Matthew Henry says, David's prayers helped to silence his fears. Having sought the Lord, 
and left his case with him. It's another thing he wants us to do. Leave our case with him. Seek the Lord. And then when it keeps coming back up again, what do I do? What do we do? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of of Christ. Yes, he's given us, he's told us what to do. When every situation happens, he's given us his word to direct us. We know what he says. We know that he's comforting us. We know that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. We know that he can deliver us from our fears. We, I must stand on that. So I'm speaking to myself and I'm saying we, because I know as believers, we've all been or tempted in this area to just allow fear and um, our circumstances to overtake us. And then he says he's near to those who have a broken heart and contrite spirit. And it has to deal with sin, but it also has to deal with it. I'm not negating because sin is powerful and we need to be contrite and broken over our sin. But the also other meaning of it is the trouble that we experience and how broken they can make us feel and we can feel hopeless and that there's no way out. He's very close. And he says that he's nigh to them, which means that he is ready to hear and help. And so I want to encourage you, as I was encouraged by his word, if you're crushed and pushed down in your spirit, and if you are fearful of situations, knows that he is near and he's ready to help. And it's okay because all things do work together for good to them who love the Lord and who are the called according to his purpose. And I'm so glad that he ministered his word to me. And I'm so glad that I chose to reflect on his word, to journal his word, to pray his word, to seek him over allowing my situations to consume me. Thank you for watching. I hope you were inspired and encouraged and blessed by this video. Take care.